everyone, Sunil Reggae from Psych Scene. So here at uh, a ski, downhill ski slope, I thought I'd just sort of do a, a video because uh, just recently taken up downhill skiing. I sort of thought that it's interesting when we learn something, how our brain works. So in the initial stages of learning, uh, and this applies to, I guess, learning language as adults as well, or other driving, for example, or learning to, to skate or, you know, any sort of new thing that we learn and interestingly initially the frontal lobes really active uh, the working memory as we learn those skills step by step so in the initial stages of skiing you know having to think about okay making the V uh, where do I put the weight on where do I then uh, leave the inside leg etc now what we need to do of course is we want this to come naturally now when we say naturally what does that actually mean it means transferring the information from that frontal lobe uh, working memory to the long-term memory where everything just comes naturally and the two types of long-term memory the explicit memory and the implicit memory the explicit memory is recall words semantics things like that things that you know same learning a new language etc where we actually recall words then implicit memory is the procedural memory the sort of memory that we you know, when you wake up in the morning, go to uh, work, drive a car, you don't really think about the steps that you take, and that's the implicit memory. And the only way we can actually transfer information, so all that information about where do I put my weight on, you know, where does the inside leg, how, how do I put that, all of those things, I need to transfer to the long-term memory, the implicit memory. And the only way of doing that is rehearsal, repetition, and connection to experience. So I could sit and read and watch videos as much as I want, but unless I actually go out and act, uh, and do those steps there's no way of, um, of learning that so rehearsal repetition and connection to experience actually trying things out and the more we do it what happens is it makes space because everything's in the implicit memory in the hippocampus so it makes space in that frontal lobe to start then evaluating what are the advanced um, steps that you can take so now you know you might think about carving and you might think about other ways of improving say skiing or other skills so essentially to summarize it the most important thing is when we learn something new we the, the frontal lobes active our aim is to through rehearsal repetition and connection to uh, real experiences we want to transfer it to the implicit memory so that it becomes really really so I hope that was useful. By the way, that's exactly how kids learn languages, which is why when we learn our you know, mother tongue, so to speak, we can't really explain how we've learned it or the structure because it's all implicit memory. But after a while, basically, it comes extremely naturally. So remember that rehearsal, repetition, connection to real life experiences and enjoy the view and check out my run. Bye.